Jared Poland Fronos Photo dot com and this is your reality is a bummer everyone's looking for a way to escape a place called photo news fix this fix is brought to you by printique and their photo books as well as albums which i absolutely love for real look at my wall of photo books all printed by printique in my opinion there's nothing more powerful than giving the gift of photography Think about it. If you give someone a photo book of their photo shoot, they're never going to throw it out unless your photos suck. So if your photos don't suck and you'd like to print a few photo books, now's a good time to do so because from now until January 30th, when you use the code BABYSTEPS24 on photo book orders of $100 or more, you'll get 15% off. Now I just ordered two books from my Safari, this 100 pager and this 66 pager that is clearly baby friendly and I saved around $66. Head on over to printique.com right now to build your book. This week, we have an Apple story, a Sony story, as well as a Canon story. It was supposed to be a surprise. First up, now that Apple's Vision Pro is up for pre-order, we finally get a better understanding of what it will cost you when you go all in. Prior to pre-orders being taken, we knew that the base level headset would set you back $3,499 for a 256 gig version. Now, if you want to double your gigs to 512, get ready to fork over 200 more bucks. Now, if you're feeling frisky and want to go from 512 to one terabyte, you'll need to fork over another 200 more. But wait, it doesn't stop there. Want a carrying case? You guessed it, 200 more. Want an extra external battery? 200 more. Though remember, it does come with one external battery. On top of all of those $200, you'll need to fork over anywhere from $99 to $149 more if you wear glasses or certain type of contacts. Now, what about people with eye conditions? Great question, Jared, because Apple's support page says this. Apple Vision Pro uses where a person looks to navigate within Vision OS. Some medical conditions such as those involving eyelid drooping, changes in eye alignment, including strabismus or lazy eye, or uncontrolled eye movements, including nystagmus, might make it difficult for Apple Vision Pro to properly detect your eye. Now this might impact the visual experience. Well, fuck me with a four leaf clover. Hey Dan, will you show that macro clip of my eye? Yeah, my eye moves quite a bit. It is always shaking. Now, Apple goes on to say, however, you can adapt Apple Vision Pro to suit your needs for navigation using accessibility features. Instead of using your eyes, you can use your wrist, head, index finger, or voice to navigate. Now, you might not want to use your wrist if you're looking at porn. I just came up with that right now. It's very clever. Now, I guess I'll have to wait and see if it's going to work for me because I did pre-order one. You know. That's a write-off. But wait. There's more. If you choose to purchase Apple Care for two years, it's another $500. Now, if you actually need to use your Apple Care to replace your headset, yeah, it's another $199. Now, I didn't buy Apple Care because I'll just add it to my insurance policy for my equipment because it's basically a computer for my head. We're fully insured. And when I get it, I'll be sure to tell you what I think. Next up, Sony Alpha Rumors is saying confirmed for a rumor saying that the ZV-E10 is coming in the spring time. They claim, through trusted sources, I can now confirm with certainty that we will get the new ZV-E10 before the summer. I have not yet received an exact announcement date, but I suspect we will see the new camera sometime between February and April. Now, for those of you wondering if summer has somehow been moved up to April, sadly, no, it's still in June, but hey, Springtime, summertime, wintertime, never time, it doesn't matter. There's no accountability for these websites anyway. So yeah, I think it's a good guess to think that the version two is on its way and probably will get some new AI features, maybe a new sensor, but probably very similar to the original, which we tested out a few years ago when I went and took it to the hockey rink. And that's the end of that story. Hey you, yeah you. Do you own an I Shoot Raw shirt? No. Well, it's time to own an I Shoot Raw shirt and show the world that you shoot raw. Head on over to store.fronosphoto.com. And finally, Canon rumors hit us with what they are saying are specs from the Canon R1 that are 
pretty close to reality. Oh, there goes gravity. According to a solid source. They are saying that the R1 will have a 30 megapixel full frame stacked dual gain sensor, do away with the mechanical shutter like the Z9 went ahead and did, have high speed AF enhanced by AI recognition, have something called moving object trajectory prediction, which would be great for unpredictable action, though how will we be able to predict if a runner is going to go left or maybe right? I don't know. Offer a flash sync speed of 1 1250th of a second, shoot unlimited 40 frames per second and 60 frames per second with different raw compressions, offer 120 frames per second with full featured continuous shooting, and even have 240 frames per second burst mode. Would you like to know more? One second pre-shooting, enhanced dynamic range, in-camera depth of field stacking for RAW, video recording at 6.7K at 60P, 4.2K at 120P with C-Log 2 and 3, and finally, a sleek body optimized for maximum hand feel. Now, if that doesn't sound like a winner, I don't know what does. How much will it cost? My guess is probably somewhere around 65 to 67 or $6,800. And what's your guess? Let me know down below. And there you have it, Jared Polinfronosphoto.com. See ya.